come on in and have some fun. Come on. So just come in and learn with us with the mouse in the house. With Tatiana, Johan, Michaela, yeah. and Kiri. So come on, young scientists, come join the mouse in the house. Uh huh. Hi guys, my name is Max. Welcome to my lab. Static tights and static mice are large crystals which grow in caves. Today, we're going to grow our very own baking soda crystals. You will need a bottle of water, a glass beaker, some baking soda and a teaspoon, a small stick and a piece of string. Now let's begin the experiment. Pour water into the beaker, about half full. Add one teaspoon of baking soda into the water and stir until most of it dissolves. Add one more teaspoon of baking soda into the water and stir. Make sure that you mix it in very well. Now find a baking soda crystal that is big enough and tie the string around it. Make sure that you tie it tightly. Wrap the string around the stick, leaving a piece which can be carefully placed in the water. Make sure that it's properly immersed in the water. Crystals will start appearing on the string in a couple of days. Wow! Look how the static mites and static tight crystals have begun to form on the string. <laughs> wow! That's incredible! Now you try! Remember that this one takes a little time, so don't worry if you don't see results straight away. Pour the water into the beaker. And using a teaspoon, put some baking soda into the water. Don't forget to stir so that most of the baking soda dissolves. Now tie the string to the crystal and put it into the baking soda solution. Don't forget to coil the string around the stick. <laughs> now, let's take a look at one that was done a few days ago on a paper clip. Wow! Look! It's growing into a big crystal. It looks like a diamond. <laughs> Amazing! How does it work? The string provides the surface on which the crystal can grow. As time passes, the water evaporates making the solution more saturated and small crystals of baking soda will start to grow in the string. How can I tell the difference between a static mite and a static tight? Static tights are stuck tight on the ceiling which makes them grow downwards. And static mites might reach the ceiling which means they grow upwards. <laughs> That's clever! Let's go into my space pod and go see beautiful tripping formations and caves. A cave is a natural underground space that is large enough for a human or a mouse to enter. <laughs> static mites and static tights are large crystals which grow in caves. The world's largest static mite is 32.6 meters long. Okay kids, let's get back to my lab. Now for my green tip of the day. Start a small vegetable garden in your yard. It's greener, cheaper and it's just a walk away. Today, we've learned how to make our very own static mites and static tights using baking soda and also saw real ones. Bye for now and happy experimenting.